Minnesota Fighting Vikings special teams in 2020 were just a cesspool, just an abscess tooth, just an absolute gonorrhea swimming pool of terribleness. It's not a thing. It should be. They were the worst. They were absolutely just ground zero. Just no. No. Uh, Dan Bailey sucked. Skull quit was meh. Uh, blocked punts. Uh, penalties and missed tackles and coverage. Muffs and bad decisions on return. It was just, it was not great. Now, the third phase of the Vikings in 2020 was an absolute disaster. It, it was. Amara Malou, special teams coordinator the last two years, had to go. His contract not renewed. Actually, I wish they would have renewed it for one year just so they could fire him. Like, I don't care that it costs money. I I want the satisfaction of firing Amara Malou. Long time coming. But uh, they did hire his replacement. Uh, they elevated assistant to the regional special teams coordinator, Ryan Ficken, uh, to the top spot. And I know. Could you say, hey, well, special teams is bad. I mean, the assistant, he's part of that, right? But maybe you can parse out, and, and of course, people internally know the dynamics a lot better than us casual fans, of maybe Mara Maloof was like, hey, Ryan, you know, your ideas are cute about playing good special teams, but we're going to do it my way, going out like Frank Sinatra, baby. So could be part of that. Uh, and let's talk about the brand new Viking special teams firefighter today, just putting out fires all over the place. Woo! So Ryan Ficken uh, played college ball at Arizona State, was a UCLA grad assistant in 20, uh, 2006, and then came to the Vikings and stayed. He was assistant running backs coach as well as assistant wide receivers coach. Eventually worked his way to special teams in 2013 under Mike Prefer and stayed. <laughs> That's about it. And he really is like the special teams version of Kevin Stefanski, where like Stefanski has been a lifelong Vikings assistant uh, going into season 15 in purple. And he survived multiple regime changes, brought in under Childress, survived when they went to Leslie, survived when they went to Zimmer. And that speaks to uh, the gravitas of a guy like Ryan Ficken, a, a guy like Kevin Stefanski, where, I mean, Mike Zimmer came in, he could have washed everyone out as his his prerogative and what happens most of the times when new coaching staffs comes in, but they're like, I see something in this guy. I've never worked with them before, but I, I, I like this guy. We're going to keep him around. So, uh, and, and then with Stefanski, like, he should have gotten the offensive coordinator job in 2018 before it went to John D. Filippo. And with Ficken, he should have gotten the special teams coordinator job when Prefer left for Cleveland in 2019, because he had been the assistant for six years at, at that point. The Vikings had a great success on special teams under Mike Prefer, sure. Uh, but Maloof was brought in as an outsider, had no connection to Zimmer. And, I mean, 2019 was fine, but then 2020 was just abysmal. It was bad. So special teams uh, that Ficken inherits, uh, worst own and worst opponent starting field position in the league. Dan Bailey missed six point afters as well as seven field goals in 2020. He was also the least accurate kicker in the NFL. Uh, print, uh, punter Britton Skull quit 38 yards per punt uh, net average, which is 25th in the league. Who's going to be the long snapper? Oh, yeah. Long snapper got the yips. Great. Three and a half yards per punt return last in the NFL as well. Plus just uh, another myriad of just absolute atrociousness. I mean, kicking and punting will work itself out. <sighs> Does Dan Bailey get un -effed? Sure. I mean, whoever, they'll figure out long snap or maybe they'll bring a new punter. They probably should. But my main concern is the lack of discipline on special teams because returns, big returns, were given up due to breakdown in assignments and lane discipline uh, and punt and kick coverage, uh, plus errors in, in uh, the Vikings' own return game where guys were just trying to do too much. And it was a mess. Like, do your jobs. Got to get back to that. Because if the Vikings' special teams automatically just get back to even or become uh, at least top 10 in the league yet again, uh, and then maybe the defense will come around and the offense stays the same, all of a sudden, wow, what happened? I mean, the Vikings, just through sheer... Uh, of not being terrible in one of the three phases, one of the big three phases in the game, uh, all of a sudden, oh, it's one of the better teams in the league. Shocker. And is Ficken going to be that guy? He better be. Well, he's very familiar with the problems because, I mean, he was sort of part of the problem in 2020. But wishing him the best. Let's get this thing done. Woo! Let's get back to it. I mean, maybe KJ Osborne can actually be a return specialist who can return kicks and or punts and not be terrible at them. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but your thoughts. Ryan Ficken, News Vikings Special Teams uh, Coordinator. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support that work? Post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.